In this tutorial from thehelpspot.com, we're going to go ahead and learn how to download and install OpenOffice. So let's go to the website www.openoffice.org. And there we go. And again, OpenOffice, as we know, is a free alternative to Microsoft Office. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that while we're downloading. And let's click here. I want to download OpenOffice.org. Um, and as that's starting, you're going to see that it's going to, it talks about over here the Java runtime uh, that's included. And that's just because OpenOffice requires some additional files to help it run. So let's go ahead now and click Download Now. And there we go. You're about to download the file. Notice over here that Internet Explorer is blocking the download, uh, which is expected to do. So make sure you go ahead and check that your browser is not doing the same thing. It says click here for options. Let's do that. And then let's click again, download the file. So now this download should start for us. And there we go. You want to run or save it? I'm going to save it to the desktop because we're going to install it also. And you see, you it, it might default wherever your browser defaults to. Um, I like to put it on the desktop just for this demo so we can see where we're going. Let's go ahead now and click Save. And that's going to save that file uh, to the desktop so we can install the program. Um, but briefly, just remember that OpenOffice is the free alternative to Microsoft Office. And one of the advantages you can use with OpenOffice is you can actually create, uh, for example, Microsoft Word documents for someone who doesn't have Word. Um, so while this downloads, we're going to take a pause for a minute. And once it's done downloading, we'll be back to talk a little bit more. Now that the download is complete, uh, the browser will copy the file to the hard drive, you know, finalize the download process. Okay, let's go click close. And let's close the browser. So now we're going to go ahead and you see on your desktop now or wherever you saved it, the installer. So open up that uh, directory now. And here's mine's on the de mine is on the desktop. And let's go ahead and double click to run this installer. Now what you're going to see here is the option to run this file. Let's go ahead and run that file. Thank you for downloading. Let's click next. Let's choose a file where we're going to uh, unpack the files. Uh, OpenOffice has a lot of files in it. And in order to save downloading time, they've compressed it into a, a compressed archive. So before we can install the program, we're going to have to unzip or unpackage uh, these installed files. So let's click unpack, and it's going to do that pretty quickly. OK, and once the files are unpacked, you're going now going to get the installation wizard. Let's go ahead and click Next. And these are fine. You put your name in the organization. It doesn't matter. Next. And let's go to a complete install. That's the simplest way to go. And create a start link on the desktop. That's fine. I always like those. Let's click Install. Now, depending on your system configuration, the install might take a little longer. Again, like I said before, there are some configuration things. The Java runtime engine that's already that, that's included that required required for uh, OpenOffice to run. So again, your installation may take a few minutes or a little bit longer, and that's fine depending on what components uh, need to be updated for your uh, individual system. Okay, now the installation is complete, and let's click Finish. And now you've, got, now you've installed the program. So you can see now at the top left here, there's an OpenOffice.org icon that will start the program. And if you look in your start menu, you will also see openoffice.org. And these are all of the programs that you have installed with uh, OpenOffice. And there you go.